Uh, the recruitment, all labor recruitment world was given a green light by His Excellency the President of Uganda to continue the operations. However, even after getting the green light, these companies have faced a challenge of overdue procedures and approval of training centers. And this has led to the increased level of unemployment and backlog in the transportation or placement of migrant workers. It should be noted that uh, the nation has had a rise in unemployment levels and with a green light by the president of the country of Uganda, he knew that we are facing an economic depression and therefore youth had to be placed abroad. That's why he gave the green light. However, you find that the recruitment companies have faced a challenge that these youth cannot be placed when they have not undergone training, which is mandatory. And training centers are approved by uh, the training centers are approved by the Minister of Gender, Labour and Social Development, and therefore the continuous delay or deliberate refusal, because if the president gives a green light and the ministry rejects giving the approvals, even when most, if not all, of these recruitment companies are observing SOPs, and it should be noted that these recruitment companies have dormitories or places where these people go for sleepovers before they are placed abroad. So if at all they can converge in such areas and stay there for weeks and months, then why can't the training centers be open and they observe the SOP?